Hello guys, another day, another project. I have been busy doing paperwork this morning so I didn't start as early as I should have, as I thought I have or, or would have. Um, I was watching through my channel and guys, I'm shocked. Um, I'm very surprised, happy. This channel has grown. I feel so much blessed with all of the new subscribers, all the old subscribers, or all there, because this is still a new channel. Um, guys, it's grown so much, and I just want to thank all of you um, for your interest in my work. Uh, you, you know, it gives me a confidence boost it motivates me um, doing more projects and I've got a few lined up I've got quite a, a intensive lot of work to do on the on the old Myford Leif um, I've got a bit of play still and just about all of the moving parts I need to look into that. Um, I bought the DRO. I want to make a, a carriage stop. Um, I want to make a, a, a I've got parts maybe of a, a tool post drill. So um, maybe grinder. Well, and I bought a tool post grinder that I haven't fitted yet, it's just a straight sort of drill with no handle on it, just like a motor with a handle on it. Um, not the most expensive because you know um, I'm not really into spending money where I can save some. Anyway, today's project. Let me swing you over to the workbench. Okay, so there you are. I have my extractor fan. I have cut a bit, a couple of bits of metal, clean it up a little for today's project. And I dug out. I actually almost forgot that I had these angle iron. I bought it when we moved in our fence post. Uh, well, our fence to the neighbors were really low and you know they just hanged over the fence all the time and I thought you know what this is not for me I'm a bit you know I like my personal space so I ended up putting a six foot fence up but at first I just extended the the wooden post and um, my idea was to use these for um, uh, to make it stronger you know across the join this angle iron it's uh, 30 mil by 30 mil and uh, there's quite a few of them and I believe they're a meter long I can't remember it's been a couple of years about two years that grill I got well maybe four or five years ago on a job that I did was laying against the wall and I asked the supervisor if I can have it gave it to me I wanted to make a, a barbecue grill which I end up never doing um, but it's going to be handy for today's project if I take you outside I'll give you a bit of more info on what I'm doing okay so here we are outside oh by the way my wife made it even more pretty. She painted the old bench where the gate was on last time. She put it a nice mirror on the on the brick shed wall. So that looks pretty good. I mean, I'll probably need to get rid of that, move that away. This is the fence she's done. I fit it in position. Yeah, it's a lot of work leveling this out. I've just made a temporary box around the old manhole. I don't know if you know regulations, you can't cover a manhole up. So, and then she painted around the old 
the old uh, uh, barbecue I made that makes it makes it look real pretty I have over the weekend plastered the inside so that's plastered with um, a fire resistant plaster kiln of hot plaster or fireplace plaster I don't know what it was it's quite sticky difficult stuff to do and I haven't been plastering in ages it took me a long time doing that anyway that's the old barbecue is almost finished getting there a lot of cleaning up still stuff standing around and stuff but um, we would like to use it so that is today's project then making temporary insides maybe if it looks alright if it might use it for longer um, the idea or oh, the great opportunity I had which never happened you know I work in a film industry and the guy I work for the contractor said to me um, just give the sizes you know if I got a metal project just give the sizes to the metal department and they can make me whatever and uh, as you can see I'm back in the workshop but um, I gave them a little drawing a sketch up and uh, you know the old strike happened so everything is down at the moment and uh, I can't say I'm out of work I've got a load see I've got loads here to do but um, I've also managed to get another job so I've got like um, shift work so I'm working a couple of days a week so I'm very grateful for that in the meantime I get a bit more time to spend in the workshop as well as the garden and doing the things that I want to do so I'm grateful for that in a sense but yeah the old finances is taking a little knock so that's in a sense why I'm I'm looking after it try not to spend money unnecessarily okay guys um, I'm back I just had my lunch um, I'm gonna start doing this uh, yeah um, I just spoke about the life a little bit earlier and as one of the subscribers uh, rightfully said when you work on a lathe, be careful. Um, no loose clothing, or not like me. I have used gloves on the lathe, which is quite stupid. Um, I should, I should focus on these sort of things. Um, no, just the wrong slip, the uh, lathe grab my whole hand instead of maybe a bit of skin and uh, yeah I've had my few accidents and uh, I'd rather avoid that actually again but anyways um, thanks for that and also while I said uh, thank you for all of the subscribers uh, people interested in my uh, channel I want to give a huge thank you for aid who um, who gave me such a good reference um, I thank you out of the out of the heart mate thanks for that I am a South African or I used to be I'm British now but um, yeah he was right in saying that um, but yeah, thank you anyway. And here in Rusty, Rusty Invention Workshop. It's a lot of stuff happening. Guys, don't do everything I'm doing um, the way I do it. I know I'm not always doing it right. Um, safe, the safest. Um, a lot of times I'm, I'm just just getting stuck in and just carry on 
um, is, is quite stupid. Um, I try not to overthink things. I know a lot of people like to draw stuff out. I, I never have. I grew up on a farm. Um, a lot of my drawings are up here and you see I don't know that's brain power loss or what you know the old skin showing um, anyway um, let's get on with it all right so what I showed you the raw um, and the angle iron and square tubing that I dug out some stuff I do collect all sorts of metal um, understand where aids come in you know there's some bits there even I don't really throw stuff away and people's old stuff they think that that's unusable oh, I get used out of it still look at these drawers being thrown out this is a nice unit with drawers inside it's got door and drawers same with them filing cabinets I use it still these cupboards the same and those are old, old lockers that I've cut up and made little cupboards out of you know um, that's in CD, CD rack that I've cut out anyway I'm losing track again this is um, galvanized and uh, you can weld gal galvanize it's just a coating you just need to burn through the coating saying that if you want to barbecue braai or grill on stainless you need to burn it clean first what I do you know I grow, grew up on a farm and we've welded and work with all sorts of stuff so I have welded um, galvanized before so I know you can do that um, what I do if I want to br braai or grill barbecue on uh, galvanize I burn all the galvanized off first it does produce some gases and stuff and I'm sure it's toxic um, you can see it burns like a, it's a funny yellow flame, funny color flame, and you can see when it's clean. So I will do that first, and burn it clean before I put any meat on it. I have to do make do with what I got. I had a, a look through my, my scrap, and I don't have another piece, cause um, it would have been nice. I remember the guy offered me another piece. I said to him, no, 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 oh, it's fine. And it just shows you I should have taken it. Um, so I've got that. I'm going to make uh, cut that in half. The idea is to frame it up with that. These are the posts, the legs on the side. I'm going to cut them in half to the shortest length and just make them all the same length. Um, connect them with our angle iron that's a plan for now it might change you know me um, connect them with the angle iron and then I want to make angle iron uh, sort of uh, run, not really runners but um, so it, it the, the grill can run on it like a drawer so you can pull it up out lift it to another height slide it in and down again the same so a couple of couple of them along the side so you can adjust the height um, the coal tray on the bottom um, slightly up a little and then I've got some old you see that's left over from the filing cabinets and uh, another cabinet I had um, I'll probably make an ashtray as well um, just makes it a bit easier if you want to clean it out. Oh, get that out of the way. Whoa! I'm so glad I've got this this angle iron. Uh, that's 
it's going to be well handy. I just want to clear some space here on the workbench. Have also changed the the uh, the fuse in the uh, fuse board, the trip switch, the breaker. Um, I have up to the up a little. Um, that's why the old welder kicked it out every time I switched the uh, welder on. Um, I think it was. But I tested a few times after I've um, changed that, and uh, it seems to be a lot happier at the moment. So that's good. All right. So we got this grill. Of course, it's a little bit big. I'll shove it in. Anyways. See what we got. As I measured it last time, it's uh, uh, fifty-four. So it's four foot one, two, three, four, five, six. Four foot six and three quarters. Now my imperial measuring skills. Sorry, I see you're not. In, I'm not in the frame. You know, this workshop of mine is, is quite small, so I do struggle to set up everything. And I saw some really nice designs on the, on the old camera stands and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I might, I might do something like that at some stage. Where have I put a marker pin? Um, I've got the old scriber here. I've got a pencil somewhere. Let me grab that. Ah, managed to find a marker. Alright. So that's 27 inches and 3 quarters. Uh, so that's 3 eighths. 27 3 eighths. I'm not quite happy with that cut edge. Let me check. Yes. Yes. That's right and length there. Just 27 3 8 that way. 27 3 8 that way. Oh well, that's it then. We'll make another mark over here. 27 3 8. Yeah, I think I was so busy saying that. I grew up in metric. I grew up in metric. I learned metric. Math was hard for me. My parents drilled it into me. But um, yeah, this this imperial stuff was really hard for me. And I only only through the film industry I learned it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have learned any of it. Still. Okay, so there I got my. My mark, so I'm just going to grind it, get the old earmuffs on, um, probably get a timber or something and lay underneath it. Somebody has made a nice piece of metal just to support it on the bottom. Hopefully, the flocks, uh, sparks isn't going to fly everywhere. I have covered up the lathe. Oh, kicking stuff over. I have covered up the lathe. I don't want that grinding dust flying all over the lathe. It's not good, you know, the, the grit on, on the lathe. Probably notice I've got a band saw here on the side that I uh, plan to. Um, it's a wood band saw, so the speed is wrong for cutting metal. It's way too fast. Um, same like drilling. Between drilling wood and metal is a speed. A lot of times you can use some of the 
wood drill bits and stuff on metal and the survisor but um, yes yeah, so I need I've, I've got a gear box that I've, I've bought um, I've searched around a long time and I've got something that I think might work it's a electric scooter gear box that's probably the closest I'll get to electric scooter and anyways that's my personal opinion um, I won't bore you with that I have already actually probably uh, I'll, I'll get on with it I'll bring the old saw out chop saw metal chop saw you can cut timber with it and that is actually quite fast that's spinning really fast it's got a special blade I'm sure you all have seen the other cut metal so I'm not gonna show you I'll cut it and then get back to you so guys sorry the fan is probably making a bit of noise but it draws all the dust and stuff out and any fine dust is not good for you okay guys so I have cut these now I need to weld it as you can see and you probably know um, I've got a problem there because I want it quite flush on the top oh, it's just going to look neater so I'll cut a square out of some of them so that the others can drop in on the same line I'll do that with the angle grinder um, I'll set it up and cut that quickly and then I can start welding the frame for the grill so these are my legs, I've got four of them uh, the idea is to use these as the rails for runners whatever you want to call them so I'll weld them so there's one on the other side I'll weld them on there space them out and then I'll have a, a tray for the coal um, a grill for the coal and uh, a grill for the the meat um, well that's a pan anyway so and then I want to cut um, the sides um, let's see I think yeah I think I'm gonna yeah I'll probably just uh, um, get top and bottom so I want four of them so they need to be welder wider than the grills but before I do that I need to frame the grills really so framing the grills let's do that then first two lengths because there's two grills I'll cut them at 18 and a quarter I'm lazy I'll cut them in one go clamp it nice and tight and then cut it So I'll just use my old vernier, like I said on a previous episode, this is really just an old one, a broken one, the screen is broken, I mean I could still read it off the, what's the name, but you know what, I'm, I'm not doing that, um, I like the digital stuff, so seeing as everything is the same size, I can use that as a easy reference I'll just mark that both sides on all of them and I use the old you know the old steady steady hand steady wrist <laughs> the old Tommy I'll do that on all of them and uh, I can cut that away. They bring you guys around.
this. Magnets out. Okay, that is going to be really nice. I'm liking it. So, preferably, I'll have a magnet in each corner to make sure that it's pretty closely square. Let's see what the tape is saying. So, 33 and 3 quarters, 33 and a 16th under, that's not too sad. Oh, that's it, I'll switch that on, switch that on, I think we can do it. Oh, I have changed the old wire inside. It's a little long. I'll just nip it off the end of that. So hopefully it works. Let's stack this frame in. Okay, so there you have it guys, two grills, top and bottom grill, the one for the coal and the one to actually do the barbecuing on. I'm pretty happy with that, so I'll start making, uh, working on the frame. Um, so I can bring them other pieces closer to, I think I'm going to work off the 
the metal I got on the bottom, you know, the plate, set it up and then uh, I can clamp it down and work off of that. First rail, I want six inches from the bottom. So on the bottom, my idea was to weld the bottom, the coal rack in, um, the coal grill in. So I don't actually need a track for that. Six inches is here Alright guys, I've, uh, I've just got two Sony Chibot, two blocks, and uh, that'll be good. So it's two foot and uh, 15 sixteens, 24 and 15 sixteens, uh, and it's out a little. So, what's going on here? Going on here. Something is not, not quite right. Yeah, it did move. According to this, it did pull. So what I told you about metal pulling and previous years that happened. Now you can do that and start all over. That wasn't really my plan. See, that's why I like the old arc welding. Um, I don't really trust this. Uh, flux core welding. Silly me. I'll redo that. And I'm going to jump straight on the arc welder. And do proper welds. Problem is, I need to maybe check it a bit earlier. I need to try and sit this camera up. Maybe I can show you how I do my welding. <laughs> yeah, it's good day. That's the right day. Let me see if I can put you on a better, in a better spot, maybe up high or something. Okay, so you're above me now. Um, above the table, I'm in a wrong angle, I'll probably swing it around and 
when I edit it and by the way guys if this looks a bit weird this uh, videos and stuff my daughter has shown me the ropes on doing the editing but I'm not as good as her um, it's gonna take me a while to get there so if you be patient I'll appreciate that um, I'll do my very best anyways um, so these are the two blocks I've done I've done one weld as well decent weld the other one I've just went all over the old all over the old stuff it's not a very great weld yeah not great indeed um, but I will burn it in proper I'll just turn the heat up a little and uh, do that just check this a bit better okay so let me just check before I go too far how we're doing corner to corner or well, corner to, to something so we got 26 and a half there I don't know if you can see let's check this side 26 and no, you see that's already gone 26 and a half there and six and a half there so that's right there I'll uh, I think I'll burn that side quickly do a proper well there So there you have it guys, I've welded the two of them up, um, they have one of them, maybe both of them, uh, slightly pulled, but not major, I don't think it's going to matter much, um, again that's not that much of a precision object. I'll just go around now and before I start assembling anything clean it up a little the wells with the grinder as well as the metal you don't want anybody to nip their hands on there um, it's going to be warm as well um, I should stop saying the um thing and I'll, I apologize apologize for that 
Um, <laughs> there you go. Uh, again, I'm trying very hard. It's been so long since I started doing it sort of engraved in my jeans or something I don't know some some clever way of saying I'll struggle with it guys <laughs> anyways Okay, so I've got that, that's basically the idea of it, you've got the rack, the two legs, leg sets, um, two of them, um, this is twisted a little but with some heat it will drop, got no stress about that, um, yeah there do I go again. You know what, I'm, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to try, but if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to focus about it, on it, too much. So, I want 31 and a quarter, if I measure that correctly, because I want a little gap other side here, so 31 and a quarter, I want... Um, to cut a piece of uh, angle iron that I will weld across the top I can weld one across the back I don't want to do the front uh, I might have to I'm not totally sure what I want to do about the back and bottom, the bottom rack, how I want to fix it. I might just put, seeing as I got another set of this angle iron uh, ra uh, rails, I might just put another set in. Uh, either, either that or use off cuts I got, just as spaces even, that might be an idea. I'm not too sure as well what I want to do across the front if I want to put something across the top here I would love to have some sort of brace the thing is though I probably haven't thought about that that clearly if you got meat on here and you want to pull the rack out this might your meat might catch on there if you've got a rail across the top now that fireplace or the, the barbecue is quite high I've made it like that specifically so I can fit the fridge underneath the fridge that I got already I want to have a fridge outside one that um, I got years ago off another job that I used to do in my previous you know, socializing area where my barbecue actually I had a fire pit where the fire pit used to be. Alright guys, so I have temporary rigged this up. I have 
measure corner to corner on the bottom let's just do this side as well so I'm gonna go metric 785 that just makes life easier for me to where that I measure that 785 so the top needs to that needs to push over oh, you see that's what happens Gentle, gently does it. Seven, eight, five. That's actually not too bad, eh? I thought it moved a lot. That's pretty good, there. Eh? Now I just need to check the bottom again. So nine, five, five. not the strongest welds at the moment it's only tacked together just to see if I'm happy with this it would have fallen apart now space is a problem again of course you know it's that that uh, hydraulic thing of the jigs. Let me try and get some space in here. I should really take that off. <laughs> 